everyone. This is T. This is episode 338 of the End AIDS series that began December 1st, World AIDS Day 2021. 338 days since that day. I pledge that I do a video every day until no one ever dies from AIDS again. Just a short recap of the, why I'm doing this series. And uh, I nearly died from AIDS myself in 2009. I've had HIV since 1997. And now I'm married, uh, despite my lower sp spinal cord damage uh, because of my bout with AIDS. I have a beautiful baby uh, son. Or no, he's a toddler now. He's a toddler, not a baby anymore. And um, yeah, and things are, you know, I'm trying to get my band together, trying to make a movie, trying to start a production company, arts and entertainment, social innovator, social media production company. So on the websites, you can see in the links and the description below. Um, and, uh, it is Southern Time Productions, funding drive day 304, and it is November 3rd, 2022 today. Number, th yeah, November 3rd. And, um, yeah, so, um, busy doing chores this morning, and, then um, I, um, had insight into, uh, and how, um, what to, to write for the end of the Dreamer series. So what happens? So I, I've done the written out the first season of the Dreamer series. There's five seasons. My story, basically. Dreamer is me, based on my story. And uh, and so the, I have to have the ending. I know what happens between. I can write the scripts when I need to. After each uh, season is done, I'll write the script for the next season because I have a better idea what should happen. And uh, But I need to know the ending before it all starts i realize and you know how it does dreamer end and that's what's happening in my life now is how the dreamer series ends so one big thing is my dreamer me dreamer learning how to sing to be amazing singer and uh and so um uh this year i made big discovery three big discoveries so first one i started listening to and imitating jeff buckley he's my favorite singer of all time favorite musician just so in love with Jeff Buckley. I don't know if I'll ever hear anybody like that again. Hopefully I'll be like him. <laughs> and uh, and then uh, other thing was getting over my um, my insecurities about my big nose, right? Because you shouldn't sing with three of your nose like country singers. That sound, sounds good. That's called singing through your nose. You, but you should use your nose when singing because when you, you enlarge your nasal cavity nasal cavity caval, cavities nasal cavities it changes the sound it makes the sound more round makes it resonate more and so i have a big nose naturally a big nose and uh and so i was really teased when i was young in school bullied you know about my big nose as i you know, entered puberty and, you know, I always try to keep my nose as small as possible and, and not using it when I was singing. And so that was a breakthrough. I finally said, go ahead, just open my nostrils as much as possible. And then you can really project the sound and add colors to it, right? And when you raise your nose, it also, when you enlarge your nostrils, it also lifts up your uh, upper lip. So then your, your mouth becomes like a trump opening of a trumpet. And so that's, you, you need, the, all your, your muscles in your face are connected. So one, everything affects everything. So, you know, and then there's a lower lip you can do stuff with too. And so it's all these things. And when you raise your, it spread your nostrils, it also raises your eyebrows to get maximum, you raise your eyebrows to get maximum width in your nostrils, right? And everyone has a different face. Everyone has a unique face. Some people have small noses and small nostrils. So you, their, their noses barely move. But the larger your nose is, the bigger your nose has to move. And it more, you know, it looks funny, right? It's very, you know, it's a funny face. But that's part of my character. I'm learning to love myself. So that was the second big thing for learning to sing uh, this year, Breakthrough. And the third thing is well, something I've known about uh, for... Uh, almost a decade now is the like I've known it for since I started to sing it was an issue since uh, when I started singing with a mic um, was when I got my first mic was 2002 and uh, and and I knew it was an issue since then but I thought oh 
you know, that's, that doesn't really matter. It's, I guess I, I didn't know how to sing then. And so, um, relatively. And so I didn't pay much attention to it. But now it's 2015 when I moved to Toronto, um, it became a big issue. Like, even I was pre preparing to get to Toronto in 2014, I uh, I knew, started singing at open mics in Vancouver. I I knew that was an issue and I got special equipment, headset, and that doesn't work because because uh, when your volume vary, vol when your volume varies a lot, like mind you, I go from really quiet to really shouting, right? And so when it shout, then they have to compress it a lot, and that takes away all the color out of the voice. When the more you compress, the more it takes out the color of the voice, and you start to sound like a, like you're going through a synthesizer. Um, and so um, so that didn't work either. And then, uh, and when I moved to Toronto in 2015, I sang with a mic for some friends, new, newly made friends, and they said, "Yeah, you're you're not singing with the mic properly. We can't, you know, it doesn't come across because half the melody's missing, right?" So, so uh, that's the issue I'm working on now. So that's like, and every song's different. Some songs are harder to sing with the mic than others. So, hardest song I sang. Um, with with the mic, I think is life. That's the one I did this past week. Laura was better because I can. It's easier to sing with the mic with Laura. Um, but uh, this week I'm going to do two really easy songs to sing with the mic. Well, one is really easy. Blue, a short song. That's about two minutes long, if that. And uh, and and then Southern Time, which will be more challenging to sing with the mic. But I'm gonna really really focus on the mic and see what happens. So I'll practice today, tomorrow, and Saturday and Sunday while I babysit my son. So things are hopeful. I also worked on a grant today. Two grants, you know, they don't pay out until spring next year if you get them. And, you know, it takes a lot of time to do it properly. And, you know, you have to decide, is it worth taking this time? And so I think these two are, so I'm trying to fit that in too in as well so hope you guys are doing well and uh, no insights today just yeah self-care take care <laughs> all right cheers